Today we're building a powerful AI chatbot in Microsoft Copilot Studio. We call it Falcon Checking. Whoa! <laughs> That's a dangerous chatbot. And we're placing it on the bank's website, but you can apply this concept to any business. This video is broken down into three sections. One, we're gonna review the scenario. Two, we're gonna demo the chatbot. And three, we're gonna show you how it was built. My name is Shervin Shafi, and I'm a principal engineer at Microsoft. Welcome to Collaboration Simplified. Okay, so here's a scenario. There's a bank called Hachatech and they have a legacy chatbot on their website, but they're interested in the next generation chatbot powered by Copilot AI. They want it to be easy to build and also easy to use for their end users. So what we did was we built them Falcon Checking using Microsoft Copilot Studio and the latest concepts like multi-agent orchestration where you can have parent and child agents. So we created child agents for balance, transfer, branch, and lost card. You'll see all this in the demo and the build. And we also created custom connectors for data using Power Apps, and, but these are available as tools inside Copilot Studio. Now let me try to answer this question of, is this chatbot good enough to replace live agents? It's a very difficult question to answer. I'll give you my take and I would also love to hear what your perspective is after you all see the demo and the build. My thinking is that now with Gen AI, you can do a lot of reasoning and analysis, whereas before the programming logic was a lot more static. So we're good on that side. And I think it's just a matter of creating an agent or a chatbot that has access to all the information, data sources, so that it can reason over it. As long as you're able to give it all that data source information, you're probably gonna have less and less scenarios where you're gonna to have to escalate to a live agent. So you probably can't completely eliminate live agents, but you can probably reduce the number of requests that get escalated to live agents. That's my take. I'd love to hear your perspective after you see the demo. I'm a customer, right? And and I'm and I like to get in touch with my bank. And all I do is we're going to the website. I yeah. open this bubble here that says chat with Falcon Check-ins, and I get a greeting for my agent. Hi, I'm Falcon Check-ins, your smart banking assistant. No calls, no tickets, no waiting in line. I want to start with what's the balance of my account? Like the answer from my agent is okay. Which account would you like to check the balance for? Your options are check-in, savings, mortgage, or credit card. Okay, I just want to see the check-ins account. I'm going to get a response. That's my balance. I'm going to need to save a little bit more money. Right? And I said, you know what? What about my savings account? Let's just continue with the same context here. The response came back. Your savings account balance is 2,500. Let's say you're going back here. You lost your car. It was stolen or whatever. You don't want to call the yeah. call center. I lost my car. Okay, let's select the account for which your car has been lost or stolen. My credit card. To froze my account as of right now, and here are your recent transactions. Also, show me which transactions have happened recently for this particular car. And I say, I didn't make the last two. That says your credit card has been frozen and dispute have been raised for the last two transactions. You did not recognize a member of the dispute team will contact you within seven days. Let's do another one here. I want to transfer some money. And it says, please provide the following details for the transfer. The account to transfer funds from, the account to transfer funds to, and the amount to transfer. And I'm going to say, from my checkings account, please provide the account to to my savings account, move $50. Actually, I think uh, that's not what I want. So I'm going to go back and say, mm, actually, make it 10,000 to my mortgage account instead, right? Ooh, so, okay. yeah, let's switch <laughs> Let's switch the, the intention here. Your checking account balance is 563, which is insufficient to transfer 10,000 to your mortgage account. Please choose a different amount or account. And I said, oops, sorry. I meant to say at 100, and is there a cash machine in Southport? So two questions to ask one sentence, multitask. The transfer of 100 from your checking account to your mortgage account has been successfully completed and will be posted on September 3rd. It came back with the response of, oh, you can find cash machines in Southport at this specific, specific locations. Again, multitasks, contextual understanding all within the same response. Yes, looks nice. good and we're good to go. So that's kind of a very, very brief use case of multi-questions, multiple task questions yeah. dynamically intelligent orchestration. Let me walk you through how all this can be done without running a line of code on, on Studio. So here we are in Copilot Studio. 
here's my fucking Shankies. This is my orchestrator. This is the customer facing agent. I have a description for my agent. I have enabled the orchestration to determine which, how to best response to my users and events. So I have that enabled as well. I have the base model as GPT-40. I have instructions. Your name is Falcon. You assist retail banking customers by providing account balance information, facilitating fund transfers making payments, et cetera, et cetera. So this is the very basic instructions. I have knowledge sources like branches and Halifax. Mm -hmm. I have what search enabled to enhance the responses. And then I have tools, right? We'll, we'll walk you through all these tools. And then we have all the agents. These are child agents. Like remember I mentioned before, we have the master agent is Falcon. And Falcon dynamically will call child agents to get things done. Let's talk about tools. These tools are basically custom connectors. We offer about, I think, 1,800 or even more out-of-the-box connectors to different systems, CRM, Salesforce, ServiceNow, you name it. But if your endpoint, your particular system is a database, there's no out-of-the-box connector, you can build your own connectors. It's basically a custom connector. And we have multiple here. So let me show you one example here. So if, for example, I want to freeze an account, right? Uh, there is an action or a tool that needs to be created in my Falcon check-ins to get things done. So I'm gonna open that action or tool. The details of the freezing account, this is what the tool is gonna to do. This is a tool with all the user to freeze their account. Here's the tool, here's the connection. I'll walk, you, I'll walk you through how that connection was made in Power Platform. So this is just a tool that will go and freeze the account. And there's an actual API that runs behind the scenes and I will show you that. If I show you another example of another tool, the Get User Profile, the Get User Profile tool will pull the username and your authentication piece so it can go into this agent, Falcon Check-ins, and get your user data. So tools are basically custom connectors. It's that simple. If I show you that in the Power Apps, we kind of created a banking API custom connector to my customer database. This is what we mm -hmm. did here. So if I go and edit here, I'm going to walk you through the name. There's, this is a basically a platform or database running in, in a serverless function in Azure. This can be anything, actually anything in your, in your systems today. Here's the definitions. All those endpoints that you see here are actually definitions or um, endpoints that I created in this connector. So for example, the dispute transaction is an endpoint to dispute a specific transaction. This is a tool that would allow the users to dispute a specific transaction. Here's the API request, and this is the entries that I need to provide to get that executed. So it's an API call to my database using these variables to block or dispute a transaction. Then I have this child agents. Every time I ask for a balance, every time I ask for information about a branch, my card was stolen, how to transfer funds, Falcon check-ins, the orchestrator will call individually this agents to get those things done. So if example, I show you the balance agent, it's a child agent, right? Um, I'm gonna open this and here I get a name. I have a description as well. This is the instructions. Like, remember, we talk about this, like there's benefits for IT and for the end user, actually. IT don't have to write code, right? You can use natural language and instructions and say, when when Falcon check-ins, the orchestrator will call the balance agent. Well, based on this, um, if there's a balance question, if there's any information about what's my balance here or there, Falcon will call balance agent. And the balance agent will do this, will fetch the user profile on their accounts using the get user profile tool. Get user okay. profile tool, it's right here, right? Right. And, and, and so I'm actually telling my child balance agent, use this tool that I already provided to you to get this done. Makes then sense. if you don't already know, ask the user which account they want to check the balance for. Remember that case when I ask a question, what's my balance in Copilot? My agent came back with which account you want. Right? Yes. It's a checking, it's a savings right here. It's this instruction. And then finally, use this tool, get balance information to get the balance of the account the user chose and tell them the balance. So okay. I'm pointing here different tools. And if I actually, let me show you this. Let me see if we can do this here. If I do here and I do forward slash and the instructions, it will offer me all the tools that I have that I can call out from my agent instruction box so right. i can be very descriptive on oh, this is why, how i want you to behave balance agent uses tools that i provided to you Got and it. then it's, the start of repeats with the rest of the agents as well so you have basically 
this kind of master agent, which is Falcon checking. You have four mm -hmm. child agents. Each of these agents has instructions and the instructions using the slash command you mm -hmm. reference different tools and the tools are built in uh power platform that you showed as yep. custom connectors so it's kind of like a hierarchy of different things that come into play to kind of create this right. end user experience that you demoed right right so if i asked for him what's the balance of my account now studio is going to switch the screen into the um, actual activity map and it will show me that um Falcon call the balance agent because I asked for balance and the balance agent is going to call the get user profile tool. Okay. Because the I told balance agent through the instructions to pull information from the customer using this particular tool. So it's coming back with this information and I say, um, I want my check. So now that I say that I want my check in account, please. And this is the actual call to the API, get balance information. Now it's switched from get user profile. I enter my, my, the name of the account that I want, and now it's actually going and get the balance information tool. So the balance agent first called the get user profile, okay, to pull the information about the different accounts that I have under my name, and finally said, okay, now that I know the account that you want, because I said I want the check-ins account, balance agent called the get balance information tool to give me the actual balance. So this all happens behind the scenes. Fucking check-ins call balance agent. I think a lot of times people have a tough time visualizing what can be done with all these different tools Microsoft has. Because again, I kind of look at it as like we give all these Lego pieces to customers and we're like, build your own experience. And you've just kind of shown us the art of the possible. Wanted to thank you again, because every single time you come on here, you're showing some really excellent use case. Thank you. Appreciate <laughs> it. Right. You're welcome. Bye. Anytime. Thank you. Thanks.